Hello everyone, welcome to my NASAC channel. Today's video is going to talk about uh, how to upgrade the SAPEN, Simon Tech Endpoint Protection Manager. When you log into Broadcom, who already bought out um, Simon Tech on August 2019, uh, Simon Tech Enterprise Security has been integrated with the Broadcom website. Uh, in the product download, you will see the SAPEN has been changed the name to a production suite enterprise edition, which has a couple of versions available for downloading right now. The latest one is 14.3. This is latest just released on May 6, I believe 2020. Um, not suggesting to upgrade to this version. 14.2.2 uh, on the scroll MP1 will be best for 14.2 this version. My version is 14.2.1. So I'm gonna upgrade the 14.2.2 MP1. So the first thing is, of course, is you need to download the DLAP package. From here, just click download. I already did that. This is just show you the process. So download the lab software. And the next step is make sure you are not replicating. Just right click your replication partner and uh, cancel replication. So if it's not running, that's good enough. Then you can close this one. After you cancel the replication, then you can log into the SAPEN server to work on the upgrading. Before the upgrading, you need to stop the all running management services. There's three services. Those three of them, I already stopped them. You can just right click, stop them one by one. Protection manager, protection manager API service, protection manager web server. So stop them before you do upgrade. This is installation package 14.2.2 on the score MP1. Right click on it, choose run as administrator. Yes. So the upgrade wizard shows up. So please make sure you close those applications and there's no remote uh, desktop sessions to run in those applications as well. I already did the full uh, VM backup so I don't need to back up database now. Okay, finally, we are in a 
config mode now we need to uh, configure the upgrade with it so now it's another upgrade server with it okay so here is option to run live update during upgrade mm, we don't need that we can do it later on to save some time so this is gonna take a while 10 to 15 minutes i'm expecting oh actually not that uh, slow so it's upgrading the database schema uh, maybe you can wait a bit to see The process is depending on your database size. Uh, if you have more than 10,000 endpoints, that may be taking longer for my environment. It's not that huge, so it should be fine. Right now it's importing the packages. Um, I'm assuming there's a couple of packages we need to import it. This is 32-bit SEP agent. Now this is a 64-bit SAP agent. So next a couple of agent is Linux package and also Macintosh package. And now it's uh, upgrading the template and starting sync the catalog. Okay, you can tell the upgrade succeeded. Next. So it's asking, do you want to send uh, data to same tag? Um, yeah, I'm fine with that. No need it. I'm the new, not used for the mission. Okay. Let's start the same tag endpoint protection manager. Loading the management server console. Um, let's refresh. As you can see, those three services are running now. It's automatically brought up by the upgrade widget. You don't have to put anything there. So, okay, I'm gonna log in. I'm logging from the uh, web query here. One thing I wanna show is um, version. 14.2 RU2 MP1. It's working fine. Everything looks good. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching.